Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mickey. I'm the Thrifty Monkey on eBay, the Poshmark app, and Mercari. Um, today I am here with a 25 pound box from ThredUp. Let's see if I can see it. Uh, 25 pound box from ThredUp of mixed men's items. Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't want to sit. Um, so this is. I believe my third 25 pound box and I got one small box before that. Um, every one of these boxes has been good and it seems like they've gotten better every time. So I'm hoping this isn't the video where it just all tanks and goes downhill. <laughs> so give me a second to open it and we will take a look and see what I got today. Last one had, oh goodness, Columbia, no. Not Columbia, the North Face, and I think I had some Vineyard Vines, and I had a Burberry jacket, <laughs> so uh, definitely made a profit on that box. Uh, still have a lot of items up for sale. Um, so this box actually has a nice green tissue paper. I didn't have that in the last one. I'm gonna set this on the floor, and I'm just gonna grab it. The box. So give me a second here. I'm just going to adjust the camera down a bit. All right, I think that's a good height. So <laughs> they wanted to make sure this box was safe, even though I had a foot of air in there. They, <laughs> they put some bubbles in there. Very funny. Um, all right, I see a green item on top. Ooh. Uh, new tags, U.S. Polo Association. Um, hang on, I'm gonna move you back up here because I think I might just stand for this. It might be a little easier. I'm using this one. All right. Um, it's a new tags. It looks like the stitching on here. I'll have to see if I can clean that up, but. It is Italy. That's a polo size small. And then there's the front. Uh, it's got some fuzz stuck to it, but I think it's in looks like it's in good shape. I don't think the white has any major stains or anything. I've not sold any US Polo Association. I'm not sure how well it does. I know that Ralph Lauren Polo does fairly well. I, I don't know the difference. So I'm going to have to look this up. If you know anything about them and want to leave me a message down below, that would be awesome. Alright, the next item is a Banana Republic size medium. It's kind of a waffle weave thermal pullover. Looks like it's in very nice shape, size medium, just kind of a reddish purple. Looks like it's in really good shape. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. <laughs> uh, it's been a long week. We had a blizzard last night. Uh, had a long day of work while the blizzard was happening. Uh, blizzard doesn't stop these places up here. We keep going. <laughs> Um, all right, this is a vintage. I don't, tell me what you think. I don't like it when they put vintage in their name because a lot of people say something is vintage and then a brand. So it makes it kind of deceiving <laughs> a little bit, but I know it's vintage style. Um, it is a heathered gray uh, Henley long sleeve. It's in really nice shape. Looks like it might be. No, nope, that's just that the cloth is kind of at an angle. Heathered look. So it's just a basic Henley. Size medium. Alright, I've got a stack of pants here. The first one is an American Eagle Extreme Flex 4. 
size 29 by 32. I'm not sure what a extreme flex fit is. It's got this nice, uh, looks like a straight leg uh, with the uh, sandblasting and whiskering. It's got minor distressing on the pockets and on the hems and I'm thinking it's hard to tell because sometimes they they will distress the pockets uh, factory but it's hard to tell I'm, I'm sure on the ankle on the leg it's probably just worn uh, that's not real bad I still list these they've got stretch in them there's that they're in really nice shape is Eddie Bauer. Now I haven't had a lot of luck. Uh, Eddie Bauer jeans, if I pick them up, they're like in excellent condition. Uh, I have people like them but not buy them. So I haven't, uh, I've quit buying Eddie Bauer. I will list these though. These are men's. I've not tried men's. Um, looks like they are a straight leg. And it's a 34, 36, so that's a nice size. Zipper works. It's got a button zipper closure. These were out in my truck all night, so they're very cold. Um, they look in good shape, though. So the leg is just straight. There is no distressing, no whiskering or anything. Just a basic, basic plain jean. Look like they've barely been worn, though. Okay, and then I have a pair of dress pants that are new with tags. A 32 32 Dockers, iron free. Oh, it's got just that straight, kind of a wide straight leg. So they sold at Macy's for $72. It's kind of nice. I don't mind that at all. Really good shape, just need to be steamed and then I can get those listed. Um, <laughs> there was a whole stack of, well here I can show you what's left of it, of pants that were just wrapped up in a bundle. <laughs> they were rolled up, so um, they're like probably at least a third of this box. So um, I have more denim. I was not needing that yet, but I don't have any men's denim, so, so I'm not complaining. I know it sounded like I was. This one is a Levi Strauss black label 511. I've never seen the black label. Uh, 3434. It's not a bad size. Take a look. Oh, no. They've got holes. That will go into my denim, denim to reuse box. I don't know if I'll sell it as a. Um, bundle for um, sewing with or if I will eventually get around to making bags and purses out of it or something I'm not sure um, I haven't completely decided and this is a pair of Old Navy straight size 30 by 32 straight leg Basic jean that Old Navy, I'm told, uh, sells really well because people that buy Old Navy, well, I'm not told. <laughs> I'm such a liar. I see it in videos, so I have been told, I guess. Uh, sells really well because people that buy Old Navy know what fits them, and so I will be listing that. And the next item. That's a buried zipper. Hang on a second here. Right. These are very, very cold. It's hard to do these zippers and buttons when they just came from outside. Buffalo? David Bitten. Straight leg. Size 32. Um, I've heard of the Buffalo. Not sold any of it. But it's got that textured um, 
whiskering. I don't know what you would call it, but it's got it there and it's got it on the back of the legs. Um, and it's got the same blasting. And then it's got the, I'm assuming that's a buffalo trademark pocket. I've not sold any of these either, so I'll have to look that up. They look like they're in pretty good shape. A little bit of wear on the hems. It's a different kind of hem. I've not seen that on the jeans. But they're more like a almost a dressier jean. Thinner material. And then I got a pair of Champion 2X sweatpants that has HPU Panthers on it. I'm not sure what university that would be. I'll have to look it up. That's just a 2X. They look like they're in good shape. I don't see a lot of wear on the crotch or anything. The elastic's all in good shape, so I'll figure out what the college is and get those up on my site. And the last pair of pants in that bundle was these Sure, what you call these? Like a sports I'm not sure about these. <laughs> the style's a little weird. It's size small, 28, 30. Um, it's got the one pocket in the back. The elastic's in good shape, but it looks like they might be like a a cropped um, pant of some sort. Maybe not. I guess no. It's just deceiving. It's just a very, very small, short person, evidently. But it looks like it might have some. Oh, they've been sewn up. Somebody, somebody cut them off and sewed them up. So that's another no. It's kind of sad. All right, and then I got this pair of shorts. It's got the digital camo stripe down the side and a zippered two zippered pockets on the sides it's kind of an odd i've not seen that before so it's just a sport short made by highlight um it's a medium regular so that's tag and it's in the front. I have <laughs> something new I have to look up. All right, let's see. I got a couple ties. The first one is a Louis Roth, Louis Roth, um, and it's 100% imported silk, handmade. So it really feels nice. He sells ties. So not had a huge success but I've, I've done okay with selling them I just pick them up if I find one I really like and this is a David Donahue woven and okay it's silk and cotton blend woven in Italy and handmade my hands are horrible so please don't look too close but that's the tag can't get it to focus it's a really nice green and blue striped tie. I think that'll do well. It's the first cotton silk blend I've seen. I usually sell all silk or a couple of polyester that have um, like a cartoon character on them. And then I got a pair of H&M loafers. Um, they're a little beat up looking, but I think once they warm up, I can stuff them and they'll be okay and clean up the leather. Hang on just a second. All right. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I was just having a chat with my husband. Um, not a high quality shoe, but I will still I'll look them up and see. Oh, big do. Sorry, that was my dog. Um, it's H&M, size 45. It's European and 11 and a half. U.S. It doesn't feel real. I don't even think it's real leather. 
but I will see what they're worth and possibly list them on the ones and redonate them. Or put them in my room, which that somebody might. Sorry, I keep disappearing out of the frame. <laughs> These boxes are so huge, I don't know how else to do it. Um, it's just a invoice, it's a $90 box. Then I had, um, I think it was 15 or 20% off when I ordered it, so. And then free shipping because it was a $90 box. All right, the next item I have is a, it's not the black label. I don't think. It looks like a dark blue to me. Um, a turtleneck. And it's an extra large, 100% cotton. I'll have to look this up and see if it might be a... Um, almost looks like it could be a, men, a women's... Um, what is the size? It's a extra large. Doesn't seem very big for an extra large men's, but it might be. Um, it's just a basic knit sweater in a cream color, and it doesn't look. Yeah, it has something right there. I'll try washing it and see if it comes out. And then I have a Brooks Brothers um, classic. It's been dry cleaned, it's got a little dry clean tag on it. Um, so it's a 16 and a half, 36. It's Sufima cotton. I've heard of Sufima. I've not heard of Sufima. But it's just this gingham green and white print button down. Um, so I will list that with my other um, Brooks Brothers shirts that I have on there. And then we have an American Eagle Outfitters. I think I have this in a gray that I found around here and sold, or yeah, I think I sold it all right. This is a medium t-shirt. It's just in a red. If it doesn't look like it would be a good one to sell, I've got a son that fits about that size, so. And then we have a Heritage Thermal, size medium. Oh, American Eagle. I was confused because it said Heritage and I saw the Eagle. <laughs> but it's just a nice um, gray. Sorry, I'm too close to the camera. I'm having issues with my distance today. Um, thermal shirt, feathered. It's a nice shape. I got another button down. Nope, it's a button, just a button front. I think the other one was just a button front too, let me look. Yeah, it was just a button front also. Um, this one is an extra large, 17 to 17 and a half Express. It's like the H&M, I believe. It's just a plaid button front. It's a really nice color though, I like. I like blue. A little dark for I can't wear the dark blues real often but I do like that <laughs> as you can tell by my outfit today um, and then top man I'm not sure what this is it's a US extra large looks like it might be a sports shirt get to the tag is top man and then it's just a real loose polyester i don't like because it sticks to my fingers when they're dry <laughs> um just a, a top sorry a shirt um it, it looks to me like it's fitted for like um sports of some sort but um i have to look up the name see if it's worth even listening I don't like not listing things that I get in these boxes because I like to get the most value out of the box that I can. I know a lot of people won't list anything unless it brings a certain uh, profit for them. But I've, I've fine-tuned my picture taking so it goes pretty quickly and the listing is kind of 
memory now, so it it goes pretty quick. So I I list a lot of lower items and they, they seem to sell. I'm not sure I'll always do that, but um, okay, we have a Zara man, and I have not seen this before. It is a medium, and it looks like a button front shirt, a knit button front shirt, which I've not seen a lot of men wear, but, <laughs> but I will check it out. Oh, I told you that this might be the box where everything tanks. Um, I think there's some good items in here, but they're they're not. <laughs> I mean, the last time I was getting excited all through the box. This one, it's okay. I, I think I'll be okay on it. But. So this is a Roar, extra, extra large, double X. And Beyond Limits. Okay, I have not any idea what this is all about but it is a button front shirt I'm assuming this would be kind of street wear I don't really know <laughs> um, that's just a flap in the back but it's very um, it's got their little signature R all over the place so I'm thinking it has to be a fairly high end item I don't know It's cotton on spandex. It's got the snaps. Oh no, it's got a snap and then it's got buttons down the front. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research on this one. That was different. I like when I'm given learning opportunities though. So if nothing else, this box should give me lots of that. I have not seen some of this stuff. Okay, we got an American Eagle Legend T, size medium. Got a couple mediums in here at least. Um, maybe I'll do a bundle again. Um, I've been bundling when I get tea, plain tees and stuff like that to see if they'll go that way. But it's just a shirt sleeve, Henley style tee. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I like it. Oh, this is new with tags. J. Crew. No price, but it's got the tag. Size small. Fish shirt. Button front, button down. It's got the button down collar. Short sleeve, and it's got lobsters and fish on it. That even tells you what type of fish they are. We got trout, we got crab. <laughs> well, it's kind of different. I like this. <laughs> We got another new of tags, J. Crew Mercantile Flex, size small. This one has the sailboats on it. Otherwise, I think it's the exact same style of shirt. This would be nice for summer. I can see a fisherman and a boater wanting those. <laughs> All right, another new of tags. Can't beat that. Thirty dollar retail, extra large. Oh, I'm sorry, double XL, um, Old Navy. This is a nice V-neck sweater. Kind of a tan, almost orangey tan, but so that's not bad. And we got another cardigan. So we had a cardigan wear. I'll have to check and see um, if that's the same size as this one. This one's a J. Crew extra large. I can't remember what the other cardigan was. It's just a striped v-neck with the pockets. Grandpa sweater, is that what you call these? Um, let me know down below if, if you know anything about anything I should do to list those to make them go a little faster. All right, I got a Western Slim Fit, yes, Los Angeles, extra large, button-down casual shirt. I don't know, maybe it'd be a dress shirt in some situations. It's a very nice shape. 
I'll have to look everything over a little better, but everything is looking good other than those two pair of pants that I pulled out. All right, I got another guess. Size medium. And this is that Pima cotton. It's just a kind of a seafoam green. Real light, thin cotton. Be really nice for a hot summer day. I like that. All right, I've got a feels like wool jacket. It's Pendleton, size small. And what I Pendleton sounds familiar. I haven't seen it. It's 100% wool. So it's got this plaid um, print to it in a blue and green. I don't know there's a name for that. Um, I'm thinking Pendleton is a really good brand, but I've not had it before, so so I will look it up and see. But the zipper's in awesome shape. It's a size small. It almost looks like it could be a women's. It's kind of a, kind of a bomber style. It's full of hair and things like that, so I'll have to. Uh, See what I can do to clean it up other than just a lint roller. Um, I might have to do a little shaving on the where the sleeves gather the cuffs. All right, this looks like a polo. Ooh, Under Armour. It's not too bad. It's a nice. Not sure. It's a nice blue. Looks like it's in really good shape. See, selling this to a golfer or I know a lot of basketball players when I worked at the bookstore for a university center um, liked the polo polo shirts too so that is the last piece so we have two that I can't list the shoes that I might be able to sell I'll have to look them up we got two I'm out of the frame, sorry. 15. I'm just going to count these as one. 16. Oh, they don't bring a high dollar. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Yeah, 27, 28. 28 items in good shape. Um, I'm not sure how good of items they are, but they're 27. I believe that's what I said. And then I got the shoes and two pair of pants that I can't sell. Um, so that's not bad. 27 items. I'll come up with a dollar amount and I might post it down below. I'm not sure. Um, of what it costs per item. <laughs> I say that I'm going to post. I'm still trying to figure out how to insert photos into my video. <laughs> so uh, it's a learning experience for me. But that is my box from Thread Up. Um, I usually wait for the sales that they put out for the 20%, 15 to 20% off. And then I'll order the men's box just because I have had such good luck with them. I think this one's kind of a so-so. The jeans ran the same way with me. I got an okay box and then I got a couple of really good boxes. And then a box with a lot of jeans that were in really good shape, but just real basic. Um, so um, it's kind of hit and miss. I, I think overall they have been a good thing for me. I've never ordered the uh, mixed clothing bag boxes. I hear they're not good. I don't know enough about purses. I might try one of those in the future because I hear a lot of good things about the purse boxes. Um, the men's and the jeans are my favorites though. I have gotten a t-shirt box. I would never do that again. Um, I think you could get really lucky and get some good t-shirts and they don't charge you very much for them, but most of them were not worth um, time and effort or the money. Um, I got a, a fun box and actually the purse that I had in there 
I didn't think it was going to be worth anything, but it turned out to be a fair sale. I don't think I made much of, I don't think I doubled my money on that box or anything, so I probably wouldn't do that again. Um, unless I just wanted to just see what I got. I still want to try the jewelry box. Now tell me below if you have done a jewelry box and if you prefer the do-it-yourself jewelry and how you fare on that. Or if you prefer the, I think it's 25, no. The box that has so many pieces, I think it might be 25 pieces of jewelry and how you have fared on that. Um, I'm really curious because I really wanna try a jewelry box. I think it would be fun, um, but I have a hard time doing it. I'm not sure. I get scared. I, I don't wanna, I, I paid, oh my goodness. I used to see the jewelry jars at Goodwill for like $15 and they were huge, like flower vases, $15. And then all of a sudden it went to $15 for a little, not even, I think a pint jar. And when I paid that, I got garbage. Oh my goodness. I don't even think the stuff valued at what I paid for the jar. It was really, really bad. Um, but I just wanted... I, I wanted to try it and it was the cheapest jar they had which was probably my problem but I wasn't gonna spend $75 for a quart jar um, I don't think our Goodwills here in town probably get or keep good enough jewelry in them to make it worth it I've seen some people get really good jars but anyway um, and I've seen the blue boxes if you've ordered Goodwill blue boxes um, the jewelry or any of the clothing Tell me what you think about them because I'm curious. I've thought about trying them. They sell out really, really fast. I mean, the only time I ever see anything that hasn't sold out by the time I get to it is like the extra small, small women's and sometimes the denim. More often than not, the denim. Um, but let me know what you think about those if you've done them. And um, I think I got off track there. <laughs> But this, this is the type of boxes that I like to get. I, I think Thread Up has been very good. You just have to kind of pick and choose what you what you buy. Um, the scarves one, I've seen people get really good scarves. I don't know that I would necessarily buy one. It scares me spending that much for scarves that they don't seem to sell really fast for me. Um, so I suppose for some people they do. Um, the people that come to my closet though, they don't necessarily buy a lot of scarves. I have a few listed and maybe I need to work on my wording uh, for my listing and stuff. Any hints, tips that you can give me below, I would really appreciate. And long story short, if you like this type of content, <laughs> um, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I put out new content. Um, I'd appreciate you looking at my, my old videos. Um, I'm just starting out so um, I am trying to grow my channel. Um, I would really appreciate it if you like any of my videos that you found helpful um, or just enjoyed. And come on back to see my next one. I'm not sure what it's going to be right now. I haven't um, decided yet. I might go do a thrifting haul. I might do um, a dead stock or not dead stock. What do you call it? <laughs> my clothes that I need to list some of the old things that I've gotten that need repair and things like that I might do something with that let me know what you, what kind of videos you'd like me to put out um, I'm willing to take suggestions I, I won't I've not tried a lot of different things um, I've thought about since I'm, I'm trying to get more into eBay I thought about doing a wholesale box other than the clothing but I'm Kind of timid in that too so let me know uh, what you think about that idea um, but come on back and see my next video i'd appreciate it thanks have a great day